My name is Lyle Bolinqua. I've been working as a professional archaeologist here in the Southwest for almost 20 years. This is a living museum, so to speak, out here on the landscape. These places that are considered abandoned are not abandoned from the Hopi perspective. They're still imbued with the spiritual essence that our ancestors left there. It's told that within our traditions that as our ancestors moved across the landscape, they were to leave evidence behind to show that our ancestors had lived and occupied in an area. Up until recently, Hopi did not have a written language. And so our knowledge, our history is literally, you know, written upon the landscape here. These things like the ruins, the rock arts, the ceramics, the textiles, even the people that are actually buried within archaeological sites. These sites are interpreted as literal footprints across the landscape. My name is Riley Bolinqua. I'm from the Hopi country. To visit sites of our ancestors is all inspiring to me. As I grow older, as I look into the past, as I think about who these people were, living with Mother Nature, having to survive from their old physical efforts, it makes me whole, it makes me stronger of who I am. I am very grateful to have visited the sites. May the spirits continue to dwell, be strong, a lot more years to come. When folks come in and damage rock art, they go in and damage archaeological sites. They're literally erasing our history, you know, off the landscape. I think the value of maintaining and preserving archaeological sites is in our ability to continue to teach our children their history and where they come from. I hope people come out here with an open mind, with a sense of adventure and willing to learn. But more importantly, I hope they come with that understanding that they need to respect these places and leave them as is.